Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Welcome to the 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. We'll be working with Overland College students this winter to prepare some amazing videos in math, science, English, and history to help you pass your teacher certification exams. Use these videos to help you in your studies and your preparation. And if you need some extra help, attend a workshop. We're holding workshops throughout the United States in Massachusetts, in California, in New York, in Florida. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Welcome to the 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're going to be looking at direct and indirect relationships. We're going to use number 53 from the 53 Math MTEL in Massachusetts to talk about these ideas. This is a very common type of uh, concept and question that you might see on an intermediate teacher certification exam, intermediate math teacher certification exam. So make sure you have this idea um, under your belt. I'll start by reading it over and then we'll pull out the ideas in this question and solve the problem. It says here in number 53, in which one of the following equations does the dependent variable vary directly with the independent variable? And we have uh, four different equations and we have these two variables, our y and our x. I want you to remember that our y is always our dependent and our x is our independent variable. All right. Sometimes you think of this as uh, our independent as your input your y is your output. Just remember the y is dependent on your x uh, input. Okay. All right. So which one of these equations shows uh, uh, an equation where the y varies directly with the x? Well, in order to do that, it's really helpful to know the structure of an equation that shows a direct relationship between the two variables. And also, at the same time, I want you to learn the structure of an equation that shows an indirect relationship between the two variables. And to help us learn the structure of those equations, we're going to turn to our Oberlin intern, Conti. She's going to help us out with the structure of a, an equation that shows a direct relationship and the structure of an equation that shows an indirect relationship. Hi, Chris. We're going to talk about what it means for two variables to vary directly with each other. Two variables in an equation vary directly with each other or have a direct relationship if the equation has the form y equals k times x, where k is a constant and y and x are the variables. On the other hand, y and x vary indirectly with each other or have an indirect relationship if the equation is of the form y equals k divided by x. If x and y have um, have relationships of either of these forms, then we say that they are directly or indirectly proportional to each other. And then we call k the constant of proportionality. Back to you, Chris. Nice job, Conti. So once we have the structure of a direct relationship equation and an indirect relationship equation, it's really a lot easier to solve. A direct relationship looks like this. y is equal to k times x. An indirect relationship equation would look something like this. y is equal to k over x. Now, which one of these look like a direct relationship? I'm hoping that you say d looks very similar. And, and d lines up. y is equal to 7 over x. x is your independent. Uh, the 7 is your uh, constant. Your y is your dependent variable. So if you know the structure of a direct relationship uh, of an equation that has a direct relationship and you can you can match up this structure, it's really easy to identify the equation that matches up with this. Okay? Very important that you're able to see that. Um, now, if if the question was which one of these shows a, an equation where the, the two variables vary indirectly, then we'd be looking for this structure here. Now just, just looking through these, do you see the equation that shows, uh, shows an indirect relationship? Well, if you look closely at A and you isolate the Y by dividing both sides by X, what you come up with is Y is equal to 2 over X. And guess what? That matches up with an indirect relation, the structure of an indirect uh, equation, right? And so this one right here, a shows uh, that x and y vary indirectly. 
D, which is the answer, shows that x and y vary directly. They're proportion they, they, they vary proportionally. Alright? Very important that you have these two structures down. It will help you on a lot of different types of uh, questions on different teacher certification exams. Sometimes it helps to, to have an idea of what graphically these look like. With a direct relationship, you're looking for something like this. As x increases, y is also going to increase. And an inverse relationship or indirect relationship like this, this graph would look something like this. What this is saying is that as x gets really big, as x increases, y is going to get really small. And, and, the, and the opposite is, as x gets really small, y would be really big. All right, so, so kind of learn the, the structure of those equations and graphically what they look like. It will really help you on a whole bunch of different types of uh, questions that you might see in your teacher certification exams. All right, team, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Thank you so much for your help, Conti, on this one. Everyone have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.